name is Christine Collins. On March 10th, my nine-year-old son, Walter Collins, disappeared. And a five-month investigation led to a boy being brought to Los Angeles from DeKalb, Illinois. The LAPD told me and all of you that this boy was my son. He was not my son. Is this Mrs. Christine Collins? Yes. I'm the pastor over at St. Paul's Presbyterian. I've made it my mission in life to bring to light all the things the LAPD wish none of us ever knew about. This police department does not tolerate dissent, and you are in a position to embarrass them, and they do not like it. I just want my son home. Why are you doing this, Mrs. Collins? You have stopped looking for my son! Why should we that be looking for someone we've already found? The mayor wants this to go away. Yeah. You can't do this. No. You are to convey the prisoner to the Los Angeles County General Hospital Psychopathic Ward. <laughs> By signing this, you certify the police were right in sending you here for observation, and it absolves them of all responsibility. I won't sign that. Orderly! No! What the hell have you done with Christine Collins? I know my son is out there. I can still feel him. Your son, unfortunately, would not be the first. But if you do it right, he may very well be the last. Your handling of the Christine Collins case has exposed this department to public ridicule. If the boy you brought back is not Walter Collins, then where the hell is he? I want my son back! I want my son back! So here are the good things about this trailer. It's a very good story. Mm -hmm. That was a true story, based on a true story, as well as a period piece in... 1928 LA. Now, the subject matter, is this something that you would be interested in? Oh yeah, I mean, from the second the trailer started playing and she, you know, walked up and, and got in the middle of that news con conference and then it sort of led to her VO Christine throughout Collins. the rest of the trailer, I was completely intrigued. I mean, Collins. the fact that this even happened, the fact that, that her son went missing and then they tried to basically pass this other kid off as her son, thinking she's not going to notice it, you know, and then basically claim that she's crazy and stick her in a mental institution. I mean, what a struggle, what an amazing, you know, just sort of uh, story of triumph. And, and the fact that, you know, a woman in 1928 is sitting here battling to try to get her son back in sort of, you know, a male-dominated society at that time, it really poses a lot of challenges. I mean, it's an amazing story that there could be this much corruption that something like that could happen here in 1928 LA. I mean, there weren't a lot of people out here. And, mm -hmm. and so for it to be that corrupt, it's just it's so difficult. I mean, I don't know if I want to go to a theater and, and put myself in the seats and force myself to you know, watch this story. It's just so difficult. It is a very depressing uh, story, obviously, but man, I was blown away by the performance by Angelina. I mean, obviously, everyone knows she's an amazing actress. I mean, countless films that we could sit here and list off that she's just been amazing in. But what is uh, so unique about her, I think, is just sort of her range. I mean, to go from a film like Wanted, where she plays, you know, like an action bad girl, to go to this. Yeah, where Mr. It's like and Mrs. A, Smith. Exactly. You know, but then you go to Girl Interrupted. I mean, she just has such, you know, an amazing range. I mean, you really can't stereotype her into one specific role. She can really do anything, and I, I believed it. I mean, even her voice was different. That wasn't. It didn't sound like her voice. I mean, it sounded like there was a lot of transformation, obviously physically, but also emotionally and sort of in the way that she portrayed the character. So the title of the film, The Changeling, is based on Western European folklore, where an offspring of a mythical creature is exchanged for a child. And wow. so it just kind of brings it full circle. I mean, it's kind of an interesting title, like Changeling. You know, I, well, you know, the funny thing is that I, I actually didn't know that at all, and I was even kind of confused on how to say it. I mean, obviously you can read it and it reads Changeling, but I'm thinking it's got to mean something else. I mm -hmm. mean, where did they get this? What is it, you know, what is it portraying to us, the, you know, the viewers? What are we supposed to get from it? There it is right there. There it is. From Mr. Mitchell. So, what do, you, what do you give it for a review? I, I'm going to give it a huge hit. I mean, I, I am such a huge fan of Angelina Jolie, love Clint Eastwood. I think this looks like an amazing story, so I, I have no choice but to give it a hit. Yeah, I, I agree. I mean, I am going to give this a hit. I enjoyed watching the trailer. The trailer is sensational. 
The film itself, can I sit through it? It's really not my type of subject matter, but the trailer was amazing. Trailer hit. All right, well, that's a trailer hit from me, a trailer hit from Mitchell. That's all we have here today on trailerhits.com, but we will see you next time.